Hello everyone and welcome to VintageBoothPro.com. My name is Crystal and this channel is all about vintage booths at antique malls. And so today's Happy Thanksgiving, so I just want to shout out to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm so incredibly thankful for all of you that have watched and all of you that are in my Facebook group. Um, uh, and if you're not a member, go ahead and jump over and join. It's a free group and we have a ton of fun. And um, just, I, you know, I spend a lot of time over there. I try to comment as much as I can on the posts that are made, but there are just some amazing booths that uh, people share and, you know, people ask questions. And then I post daily updates about what's sold because that is why I started this whole thing. I just want to learn more about what is actually selling in vintage booths. So today is Thanksgiving and I am recording this the day before. I have spent the last at least week cleaning, scrubbing my house, getting ready for family to come over. And if you are a hoarder like I am, I even made a video about it. Um, I can link it here if you are interested and you have an extra guest bedroom and then you have to clean out that extra bedroom. You can understand the frustration and stress around that. Um, so at this point in time, my house is spotless. There are things stuffed under the bed. There are things like hidden in closets. Um, and that's okay because I have room for my family. They can make it into the bedroom and everything like that. We have plenty of room to enjoy our time together as a family. But I am completely worn out and I decided before they got here, I would sneak away a little bit and do a little shopping. I don't need anything from my booth. It is filled to the broom and I just, you know, sometimes you just want to shop. That's why we're all in this, right? <laughs> We'd like shopping. And I'm also going to cheat a little bit and show you some things that I have bought over the past week. And um, I'm going to run to my local Goodwill and see what they have. So I told myself I was not going to go in if the parking lot was too crowded because I knew it was going to be crazy since it's the day before um, Thanksgiving, but it wasn't too bad. But I got in there and people were just like aggressively shopping. Like it's the people that are there all day and just like bombard the guy that's bringing out the stuff. <laughs> so sorry for him um but it's like they've made friends and and that's okay like they're talking about going fishing over the weekend and things like that so it seems like they're having fun oh these shelves are just so bare but i always recommend like digging around on the bottom shelves and seeing what you can find and what's been hidden under there and so those um candle holders i guess were super nice but um, not really my style and at this point, there was somebody just pushing up on me trying to get through. And I am trying to look at everything. So I found this um, nativity scene candle holder. I, I did that so fast, but I think it was a dollar something. Um, I put it back, but I went back and got it because religious stuff, always look it up. And that particular one was like $45 it had sold recently on eBay. I'm going to do a little bit more research before I price it. I thought that little bunny was cute. And that is what I found the most of, just Easter stuff. And I'm getting ready for the next big holiday. Put that guy back. He kind of has some scratches, and I'm not in the painting mode right now. And this pineapple thing was only $5. Fits my MCM vibe perfectly. So I grabbed that one. And I was looking at the um, end caps. You never know what you'll find. So here we are on the holiday aisle, probably my favorite aisle. Um, I like this little candle thing, uh, but is it a witch's hat or a Christmas thing? I wasn't really sure. And if normally I would have um, just, you know, gone through all these ornaments and investigated them a little bit. But at this point, we're at Thanksgiving. Are you buying Christmas anymore? I'm really not. I'm really ramping up for Easter and trying to get as much um, cute Easter items as I can. And I'll, I'll, if I find Valentine's Day stuff, I'll, I'll buy some of that. Maybe St. Patrick's Day, one or two things. But I feel like really Easter is the next big holiday for us as vintage booth owners. What do you think? So I did actually find quite a few Easter items, um, but they really have to be very high quality, very unique. Um, I have sold some fabric carrots like this in the past. These were super cute. Um, $3, kind of high. Check out this Happy Easter sign. It was only $4, so I picked that up. And uh, just looking around on the other side, um, lots of fall stuff, lots of those word signs that just don't sell for me. 
And I did find, this is pretty cute, and there were two of them, Happy Thanksgiving. Really nice sign, but would you buy it on the day before Thanksgiving? Um, I decided not to, not and to put it back. I don't really know how much people really decorate for Thanksgiving, unless um, you know, it's more about the food. Um, baskets galore. Baskets do not sell for me, no matter what I do. Uh, so I'm just checking out the end caps, and I spy another cute little bunny, and it is three dollars, three oh nine, I should say, and it has crazy pink eyes. Listen, when it comes to selling bunnies, the crazier looking, the better. And you know you need those pigs <laughs> with the nursing mom. And this is Precious Moments Galore. Someone had apparently donated their entire Precious Moments collection. And when I look closer, each and every one was marked 709. They can't be worth more, much more than that. So I love how my Goodwill always puts light colors together. And I like this acorn plate, but I don't know that people would actually buy that. Not really a collectible. And I did like that tray, and I thought these were super cute. Just not um, really in my buyer persona and would not work in my booth. Um, always love this metal aisle. Does your Goodwill separate like that? I was not interested in this piece, but I just wanted to see how much it was. Sometimes it's going to be at least $7 at my Goodwill. Um, and just kind of perusing. That This was the most crowded aisle. I'm intrigued. Like, what the heck is this thing? Like a terracotta thing. Um, there are several more there in the background. Now, ooh, this is nice. Okay, I want to play a quick game. How much do you think Goodwill charged for that very large vase? Now, I did continue on the metal aisle and check out this um, easel picture frame. It was only $7, which I thought was shocking. Really beautiful display piece. Didn't get it. I just don't have room in my booth for that. Did get these. They were $2 each. Still don't know what they were. <laughs> so making my final rounds, I feel like I have to go through each aisle each way just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I do like those, but kind of the ick factor <laughs> kind of <laughs> made me not get them, but um, I would have just used those personally. And I'm just not seeing anything else that I really need. I'm not looking to make anything over at this point in my life. I just want something fun and easy. Oh, and here's the pop quiz. That large vase was $9.09. .09. And I do want to give you just a little preview of the fabulous furniture that was offered at the Goodwill. Just a whole lot of nothing. And uh, last stop on this aisle, I kept going back to this cherub vase. I love cherubs. Um, I actually like pineapples too. They sell fairly quickly for me. Um, but just, you know, wasn't feeling them, decided not to get them. Nothing really too special about those. And I um, always like to look at the random crafts. I did like this pillar candle holder, but just didn't need it. I don't know, $5, kind of a lot. So I ended up only spending $23 at this Good Goodwill visit, shockingly low. And let me show you some of the other things I found. So this frog, I know hand puppets do sell well online, but this one I bought for my son's teacher who collects frogs and thought this would be a cute addition to a third grade class. And he was discounted down to $5. Now this is something that I'm gonna sell online and not in my booth. It might work well in my booth, but I think it will sell faster online. It also was only $5 and it's like a huge, kite sort of thing that sticks in the ground. I forget, spins in the wind. Um, I forget what they're called. I look at this vintage um, wrapping paper with the name John on it. It was only a dollar. It might be a quick flip online for $10. These are super cute. And instead of salt and pepper shakers, I thought it was interesting that it said, um, for like for seasoning. So they are House of Lloyd. Not always um, a great resale value but definitely worth picking up and these were in very good condition now this beautiful little piece um i did some comps and i forget exactly how much they sell for online i didn't price that high and i thought it was interesting it's distributed by spencer gifts um and it was was it five dollars works great beautiful this is a tibetan singing bowl and i can't get it to work there you go and it was on discount and it was only five dollars and it is already sold in my booth for 35 dollars next up um this is super cool and it was only three dollars let me show you how it works it's like this dainty little tray and i kind of want to keep it 
I don't know if it's vintage, but it's really nice and I really like it. So of course, always grab angels and cherubs. Um, this one was, um, I think a dollar it says, and I have her price for maybe $6 in my booth. And I do love musical items and I love mice at Christmas time. What is the deal with that? And I couldn't get this one to work, but I did finally get it to work. And so I think I priced him at around $12 in my booth. I always love picking up cats and this has an MCM look to it, kind of a mid sister vibe. It probably isn't, but it just has that look to me. Uh, and it's in really good condition. So I think I have that price too high initially, but uh, we'll see what happens there. Just thought it was super cute. Now tell me, if something is marked Japan, like occupied Japan, do you pick it up? Um, this one was Japan and it's um, at Niagara Falls, which, you know, interesting um, collectible from there. But yeah, I think I actually have this on eBay right now and decided not to put it in my booth. Now, I did pick up some Halloween items that I thought were interesting, and I know I just said um, I won't pick up fall or Thanksgiving, but Halloween kind of sells year round, and if it doesn't sell on eBay, I can always put it in my booth next year. So these, I don't even know what to call these, they are made in Korea. I tried the Google Translate, could not figure out what they said, and Google Lens didn't help a ton. So I'm just going to list these on um, eBay for now, see what happens. And if they don't uh, move or, you know, if I don't get a whole lot of traction on them on eBay, I'll put them in my booth. Now, this store, the thrift store, had a ton of license plates. I have never sold a license plate, but they were only a dollar, and I thought some of the older ones were kind of interesting. Like this George one, I know the design is different now. And some of them just, I think they had like older years. They were only a dollar. I'm gonna put them on eBay because I know people do crafts with them and whatever. Um, here's another cute little guy for Halloween that I feel like will sell next year if he doesn't sell already in eBay, on eBay. And it was a dollar, like I couldn't leave him for a dollar. And so what I was about to leave on this beautiful bowl from, um, it's a Target brand, it was only $5. And I don't think it will sell, um, you know, for very high, maybe like $15. But just that color is just so beautiful. This one, I love Buddha, I love the elephant, and I've heard elephant with their trunks up are um, good luck. He was $3, um, might sell quickly, might not, I have no idea. But it kind of fits in with that Asian theme that I have going in my booth. Now, this is something I am gonna sell online. And the only reason, it says made in Italy, so is it something fancy? I don't know, it was cheap. And one had sold recently for on Etsy for quite a bit from what I could tell. And so I thought I would take the risk. This one, I have a topper in my booth. So I, as soon as I could, took that to my booth and up the price a little bit. And now this turkey, he's mine. I'm hosting Thanksgiving. So I needed a few extra pieces to decorate our Thanksgiving table. And so excited to find a little turkey. It's actually a gravy boat and the ladle was missing. So I was able to get a few things in my booth before the Black Friday rush. One of the things we're talking about over in the group is Black Friday and Small Business Saturday sales. Do you do them or not? I am of the mindset of not having a sale and rather marking things down on clearance if they don't, if they just never sell. Just mark it down um, until it does sell. I would love to know what your thoughts are on having booth-wide sales. It just physically hurts me to think about giving away a lot of profit because our profits are so slim to begin with. Um, so I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are. So like I said, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you like videos like this, I have more thrift with me and haul videos for you to enjoy. Thanks again, bye.